Shalom, Akim, your brother Kana, back at it again. Start by giving all praise and glory and honor to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakakadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of the great Muslim who were well. Peace, salutation to the Jehovah elect, teaching and preaching his truth and his purity and his insincerity. Uh, I'm not sure what to entitle this lesson. Uh, meditate upon. Uh, Sodom, Sodom and Gomorrah and Egypt are uh, how Yahweh Bashim Yashai delivered uh, the, deliver the righteous men out of Sodom and Gomorrah and in and, um, the time of Egypt delivered the Israelites out of ancient Egypt okay uh, and the story of Lot being delivered he wasn't pleased with what uh, Sodom, Sodom and Gomorrah was doing. So he brought it out. We're going to get that story. We're going to read it. Get into it. All right. Because Abraham and Lot, you know, was, uh, was Yahweh's chosen. In terms of righteous, uh, in terms of uh, uprightness and righteousness, okay, they followed the word of the word of Yahweh Hashem Shah, okay, at every given time. So in the book of Genesis 19, okay, we're gonna read, going on down the story of Lot. All right. And we're going to read uh, some Exodus in the time of Moses in Egypt because these are the, these these accounts are very important of how the Lord is and this is what is coming to this modern day Egypt Sodom and Egypt okay this is why this this is why we the prophets uh, named this place Sodom and Egypt 2.0 okay because. You know, what that thing that has been done um it shall be is no new thing under the sun as you can see okay so let's start up genesis 19 and there came two angels to sodom at even and lot sat in the gate of sodom and lot seeing them rose up to meet them and he bowed himself with his face toward the ground because that's yahweh bashim yashai's angels that means that's a warning coming Okay, that's a warning coming to a certain city or land. Okay, and he said, Behold, now my Lord's turned in, I pray you, into your servant's house, and tur and tarry all night, and wash your feet, and ye, sh ye shall rise up early, and go on your ways. And they said, Nay, but we will abide in the street all night. Okay, so the angels is going to stay in the street, okay, to watch over uh, uh, the city of Sodom city of Sodom and Gomorrah okay and he pressed upon them greatly and turned turned it in unto him and entered into his house and he made them a feast and did bake unleavened bread and did and they did eat okay but before they laid down the men of the city even the men of Sodom could pass the house round both old and young all the people from every quarter okay so people all over the city is you know is go uh, uh enjoying their time okay both old and young all the people from every quarter okay and they called unto lot and said unto him where are the men which came in to thee this night bring them out unto us and that's the angels that they're referring to okay that they came to see lot that means that's a warning coming from the lord man you know and lot you know try to take care of him Okay, I guess they materialize into uh, 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 human bodies. Okay, and they called unto Lot and said unto him, Where are the men which came into thee this night? Bring them out unto us that they that we may know them. And Lot went out at the door unto them and shut the door after him and said, I pray you, brethren, do not so wickedly. So, Lot, you know. So the men is inquiring on where are those two men and then Lot uh, would, got vexed, you know, and then closed the door. He shut the door and, he, and you know, 
He spoke out and said, I pray you, brethren, do not do, do not wickedly, man. Okay, because Lot was upright, you know, he like he did things righteously. Okay, behold now, because remember, keep in mind that Lot was greeted by the angels of Yahweh. Okay, so he's trying to be right in the Lord's eyes at the best of his ability. Behold now, I have two daughters which have not known men. Let me, I pray you, bring them out unto you, and do ye them as is good in your eyes. Only unto these men do nothing for the, for nothing. Do nothing for there came they under the shadow of my roof, and they said, Stand back. And they said again, This one fellow came in to sojourn. Okay, let's look at the word sojourn. Sojourn means a temporary stay. So they sojourn so they temporarily stayed somewhere. For that time being, that means something is about to take place. And their time is short because they have to do the will of the Lord. Okay? So, let's read this again. And they said, stand back. And they said again, this one fellow came into sojourn to stay temporary. He will need be a judge. And now will... We deal worse with thee than with them. And they pressed sore upon the man. Even Lot came near to break the door. Okay. So as you can see, um, Lot is a little, Lot is angry. Okay. Um, and they said, stand back. And they said again, this one fellow came to St. John. Okay. That's the angel. Okay, he will needs to needs be a judge. Now we now will we deal worse with thee than with them. Okay, and they pressed sore upon the man even lot and came near to break the door. Alright. But the men put forth their hand and pulled Lot into the house and shut to the door. Okay, and they smote the men that were that were at the door, they sh they struck they sh they strike the man. They hit the men. They hit the men at the door of the house with blindness and both small and great, so that weary themselves to find the door. And that's that's the angels, okay? That's the angels that that uh, uh struck 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 um struck the men, okay? All right. And the men said unto Lot, Hast thou here any son besides son-in-law? And thy sons and thy daughters and whatsoever thou has in the city, bring them out of this place because the Sodom, Sodom and Gomorrah was is getting wicked. All right. So verse thirteen: For we will destroy this place because the cry of them is waxing great before the face of Yahweh, and Yahweh has sent us to destroy it. So Yahweh by Shimei Yahushai, uh see that lot was growing in wickedness okay they 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 uh they not following the following the ways of the most high they was going off of their own own mind and their own belly okay they saw that the place was you know it was it was fair you know comfortable and they felt as if they could do whatever you know they whatever they please okay and lot went out and speak unto his sons in law Speak, speak unto his sons-in-law, which married his daughters. Okay, so that means his daughters uh, 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 had sex. Okay, and said, and said, up and get you out of this place, for Yahweh would destroy the city, just like how we the prophets are saying that uh, Babylon the Great is the Lord is going to destroy it. In the same way, Yahweh was talking to uh, uh, told the angels to tell Lot, uh, Yahweh is getting ready for us, uh, sent us to destroy this place. And tell the people, warn the people before before uh, it's too late, okay? Just like in the time of, of Noah, Noah uh, 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 was was um, prophesying, telling the people repent before it's too late. Yeah, I was going to destroy this place by way of water, okay? And the people ignored Noah and and went about uh, drinking, marrying, having fun, just like in Sodom and Gomorrah. Everybody was drinking, marrying, you know, having fun. Okay. And when the morning arose, 
then the angels hasten Lot saying now let's look up the word hasten Be quick to do something, move or travel hurriedly, cause to happen sooner than it, than it otherwise would, to speed up, to hurry. So, let's get back to it. So, when the morning arose, then the angels quick, quick and lot, saying, you know, qualm, arise, qualm, okay, in the Hebrew is qualm. Arise, take thy wife and two and thy two daughters, because they're getting ready to do business for Yahweh. By Hashem Yahushai, which thy two daughters, and which are here, lest thou be consumed in the iniquity of the city. And while he lingered, the men laid a hold upon his hand and upon the hand of his wife, and upon the hand of his two daughters, and. Yahweh being merciful unto him, showing favor unto Lot. Okay, remember we went back into the word merciful. Merciful is to show favor unto a particular something or someone. And they brought him forth and set him without the city. Okay, and it came to pass. Okay, when they had brought them forth abroad, that he said, Escape for thy life. Look not behind thee. So Yahweh Hashem is saying, move, you know, move, move, uh, uh, move with uh, uh, rapidly. Okay, hasten your movement. Okay, you know, move. Just you know, just move. Just go. Okay, escape for thy life. Look not behind thee. Neither stay thou, because Lot try to warn. Um, Lot try to warn his daughters. His son-in-laws to uh, get up and let's go. You know, warning the people the, the Lord is about to. Do. He giving them in wisdom, saying that the Lord is getting ready to do business upon this upon the city. Let's go. But the people, you know, the people uh, uh, mocked and, and ignored him. Okay. So let's get back to fourteen. It says, and Lot went out and spake unto his sons-in-law and married. Which married his daughter and said, Up, oh, get out of this place, for Yahweh will destroy the city. But he seemed as one that mocked unto us, unto his son in laws, okay? Unto his sons in laws. So they his sons in laws felt mocked, like, what are you talking about? This place, this place is beautiful. What are you what are you doing, man? You know, just like our people our, our people today, what are, what are you doing on the corner? Look at these Look at these fools with dresses are. Look at this fool, you know, speaking out loud, looking like a maniac. It's the same thing the Lord is going to do to Babylon. Okay, so we 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 warning the people. We hate we're hate we're, we're, we're hasting on uh, Yahweh Shah's coming. Okay, because he's coming. Okay, and we warning the people. All right. Verse 15, and when morning rose, the, then the angel hastened a lot, saying, Arise, take thy wife and thy two daughters, which are here, lest thou be consumed in the iniquity of the city. Okay, they sin, they're coming to sin on top of sin. And while he lingered, the men laid, laid hold upon his hand, and upon the hand of his wife, and upon the hand of his two daughters. Yahweh be merciful unto him. They brought him forth and sent him without the city. Okay, so Lord is commanded to go, just go. Okay, and it came to pass when they had brought them forth abroad. Okay, he said, Escape for thy life, look not behind thee, neither stay thou in all the plain. Escape to the, the mountain, lest thou be consumed. Okay, and Lot said unto them, Oh, not so, my Lord, behold, now thy servant hath found grace in thy sight. And thou hast magnified thy mercy, which thou hast showed unto me in saving my life, and I and I cannot escape to the mountain, lest some evil take me and I die. Okay, so the Lord, the Lot is giving thanks to Yahweh. Okay, and, and he's not trying to uh, turn back because he's trying to save his life, man. 
just how much more so that uh, 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 us the prophets today trying to save our life by prophesying this word and giving warning to the people. Okay, what what yeah, what Yahweh Bashim is getting ready to bring. Okay. Behold, now this city is near to flee unto, and it is a little one. Oh, let me escape thither. It is not a little one, and my soul shall live. And he said unto him, See, I have accepted thee concerning this thing, also that I would not overthrow the city for which thou hast spoken. Because Lot, Lot is listening to the commandment of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Okay? Haste thee, escape thither, for I cannot do anything till thou be come thither. Okay? Therefore, name the city which is called Zor. Okay, let's look that up. Zor. Thither is Malat. To slip away, thither. To slip away, escape, deliver, save, be delivered. That's Yahweh Shai. Okay, Yahweh Shai. <laughs> Help Lot get delivered. Okay, to, to slip away, to escape, to be delivered. Okay? And it goes on. It goes on with the same thing. Now, let's see. Zor. What is Zor? To so or. So, so are. Insignificance. Okay? Zor is an insignificance. Okay? Now let's look up insif insignificance. Insignificance. Too small or unim unimportant to be worth consideration. So the the city of Sodom and Gomorrah was uh, uh was uh, unimportant to be worth consideration, man. It was meaningless. Without power or influence. Okay, the sun was risen upon the earth when Lot entered the Zor. Okay, and then Yahweh rained it upon Sodom and upon Gomorrah, brimstone and fire from Yahweh out of heaven. Wow. He destroyed Sodom and Gomorrah because it was wicked, full of iniquity, and he overthrew those cities. And all the plain, it was a bunch of homosexual acti homosexual activity going on in Sodom and Gomorrah, okay? You know, men men duking at each other in the butt, women sleeping with women, and a whole bunch of wickedness, okay? From Yahweh out of heaven. And he overthrew those cities and all the plain and all the inhabitants of the cities and that which grew up on the ground. But his wife looked back from behind him and she became a pillar of salt. So Lot wife turned back and went right back into uh Sodom and Gomorrah because she wanted to she wanted she wanted back that city. And the Lord the Lord turned to salt, man. Okay? Basically the Lord turned to ash. Okay. See in this ministry you can't you don't want to look back, man. Okay? Now, you, you, you're gonna get destroyed. All right, and you know you have some men that went from the truth right back into the world, and the Lord bugged them out, and they just basically set for destruction because they you know gonna they're gonna take the microchip, and um, you know they're gonna uh, keep on committing abomination before the Lord's eyes. So they, the Lord set them a mark for destruction. And Abraham got up early in the morning to the place where he stood before Yahweh. And he looked toward Sodom and Gomorrah and toward all the land and all the all the land of the plain and beheld and lo, the smoke country went up as the smoke of a furnace. So Abraham was in shock, like, oh yeah. You know? He you know, he he was ecstatic. He was he was, he was in complete shock. Like the Lord destroyed Sodom and Gomorrah. <laughs> wow. And it came to pass when Yahweh destroyed the cities of the plain that Yahweh remembered Abraham and sent Lot out of the midst of the overthrow when he overthrew the cities in which Lot dwelt. 
Remember the two angels, the two angels uh, uh, were sent to warn Lot, like, yo, it's time to go. We, you know, we about to get ready to do business on this place. All right. And the firstborn said unto the younger, we slock it. And Lot went up out of the Zor and dwelt in the mountain and his two daughters with him. For he feared to dwell in Zor and he dwelt in a cave. He and his uh, he and his two daughters and the firstborn said unto the younger, Our father is old, and there is not a man in the earth to come in unto us after the manner of all the earth. Okay, so they don't have no man. So they you know, you know, women they quick you know they they quick to think on, on something wicked, man. Come, let us make our father drink wine, and we will lie with him that we may preserve seed of our father. See, so they uh they drunk in lot, okay, and then uh they slept with their own father, okay, and then that's when uh and, and then they fought. Lot got them pregnant because he was drunk. He didn't, you know, when you're drunk, you don't, you don't know what you're doing. And they made their father drink wine that night. And the firstborn went in and laid with her father and perceived not when she laid down nor when she arose. And it came to pass tomorrow that the firstborn said unto the younger, Behold, I laid yesterday night with my father. Let us make him drink wine this night also and go down in. And live with him, and that we may preserve seed of our father. And they made their father drink wine that night, and the younger, and lay with him. The, he perceived not when she laid down, nor when she arose. Okay. Th thus were both the daughters of Lot with the child, with the child by by their father, and the firstborn bare a son called his name. Moab, which is the modern day Chinese, and the same is the father of the Moabites. And the younger she also bare a son and called him Benami, the same is the father of the children of Ammon unto this day, which is the so called Japanese. So Lot made a, made, he made Mo, the Moab, which are the Chinese and the, and the Japanese, the Ammon, Ammonites. <clears throat> so let's go into the account of Exodus. Let me see, I think it was an eight. Okay. Okay, let's go. Exodus 8. And Yahweh spake unto Moses, Go unto Pharaoh and say unto him, Thus saith the Lord Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, Let my people go, that they may serve me. And if thou refuse to let them go, behold, I will smite all thy borders with frogs. So Yahweh Shemashai sent plagues of frogs upon upon uh, Egypt. And the river shall bring uh, forth frogs abundantly, which shall go up and come into thy house and into thy bedchamber. And upon the bed. So the Lord infested the whole place, the whole borders of, of, of Egypt with, with frogs, man. You don't think the Lord is going to do that today? He's going to do that times two, man. And upon thy bed, and into the house of thy servants, and upon the, thy people, and into thy ovens, and the frogs all over the place, and into thy kneading troughs. And the frogs shall come up both on thee, and upon thy people, and upon the, thy servants. And then also, on top of that, Yahweh by Shema Shai made Moses a god, man. See, and Yahweh said unto Moses, See, I have made thee a god to Pharaoh. Okay? That's the book of Exodus chapter 7, verse 1. And Aaron, and Aaron thy brother, shall be, a, be thy prophet. Okay? So, Moses was a god to Pharaoh because he had the power of, of, of Yahweh, Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh, Shai. Okay? Aaron's that prophet. Okay? To speak unto the people before uh, Moses, man. Okay. And then, you know, as you read along, more and more, uh, Yahweh Bashim Asha just keeps on punishing um, Egypt each day. Okay. 
He punishes Egypt each day, man. With different plagues and different and different uh, 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 punishments. Look at uh, Book of Exodus, chapter thirteen, verse nineteen. And Moses took the bones of Joseph with him, and he had straightly sworn to the children of Israel. Yahweh will surely visit you, and ye shall carry up my bones away hence with you. And they took their journey to Kuf, Sakoth, and, and camped Etham in the edge of the wilderness. And Yahweh went before them by day in a pillar of a cloud, okay, which is that chariot, the pillar of the cloud, to lead them the way, and by the night in a fire to give them light to go by day and night. So Yahweh Shem is guiding the children of Israel out of Egypt. He took not away the pillar of the cloud by day, nor the pillar of fire by night from before the people. Then he's going to do the same thing today, man. Okay. Let's jump to the verse 15. Exodus 13 and 15. And it came to pass when Pharaoh would hardly let us go, that Yahweh slew all the firstborn in the land of Egypt. So how much more today in modern day Egypt? He gonna slew all, all the Edomites, man. Both the firstborn of man and of the firstborn of beast. Therefore I have sacrificed to Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, all that opened the matrix. Being males, but all the firstborn of my children I redeem. And we're the first fruits of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. He gonna redeem us with, with, with Yahweh Shai, man. Okay, Yahweh is going to redeem us with Yahweh Shai. Um, I just want to go to Revelations. Seven. Okay. Book of Revelations 19. No, not that one. Okay, so now was how what this the prophecy was gonna happen to uh, Babylon the Great. Look at Revelation seventeen and one, and there came one of the seven angels which had the seven vials. And talk with me, saying unto me, Come hither, I will show unto thee the judgment of the great whore that sit up on many waters, sit up on many philosophy doctrines, and uh, many uh, 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 many other nations uh, uh, sleep on them, with whom the kings of the earth have committed fornication, the inhabitants of the earth have made drunk with the wine of her fornication, okay, her democracy, her, her microchip, her vaccination, her... Her, her political uh, parties and and uh, and her religions, okay, her religious beliefs, okay. So he carried with whom the kings of the earth have committed fornication, and inhabitants of the earth have made her made drunk with the wine of her fornication. So he carried me away in the spirit into the wilderness. I saw a woman with a scarlet colored bees full of names of blasphemy okay she against the most high uh and his only begotten son yahweh shy which is so-called negroes okay they blaspheme the most high the son the yeah, prophets uh, uh and 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 the children of israel they call themselves israel is israeli i'm gonna say israel israeli but it's israeli the israelites man. having seven heads and ten horns okay made them the eu Okay, and that, and that this is that uh uh, uh that uh, the 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 uh the dragon with the two horns. Okay, you speak as a dragon with two horns, and the woman has a red in purple and scarlet color and decked with gold and precious stones and pearls, having a golden cup in her hand full of abominations and filthiness of her fornication. Okay, here's the point. And upon her forehead was named written Mystery Babylon the Great, the mother of all har the mother of harlots and abominations of the earth, and which is Babylon the Great America. Okay. So the Lord is gonna destroy this place utterly.
Revelation chapter 14 verse 9 and the third angel found saying if any man worship the beast and his image okay and his democracy receive his mark his forehead which is of Esau Edom or in his hand the same shall drink the wine of the wrath of the Most High, which is poured out mixture uh, into a cup in the nation he shall be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels in the presence of the Lamb which is Yahweh Shai and the holy angels laser beam la laser beam in the sinners and also Yahweh's uh, uh, putting the spirit in the nuclear missile that's going to be shot off of all the other nations and destroying Babylon the Great. Okay, hope this lesson was edifying. Just want to get into a couple of stories of you know, kind of spirit we're supposed to uh, get into that hasting spirit and pray into Yahweh by Shemar Shah to deliver us. So, I'm gonna give end it by giving all praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakatadash, Barakata Yahweh, Barakata Yahweh Shai, double honors to the apostles and elders of the great Musa, Shalom to the hopeful that 